historical data would be uh, something that gives you options in a question. So for example, choose your favorite of these colors, red, purple, green, gold. There are four colors, you have to pick one of them, and instead of having something numeric where it's scale from maybe one to five, pick some number in between there, maybe even decimals are allowed, um, here you have four very specific choices and there's nothing in between them. So let's say that we asked 50 people. And of those 50 people, uh, five of them said red, five said purple, 25 said green, 15 said gold. This survey may have been taken in Green Bay, Wisconsin. Now, we need to organize this data into a table. So a frequency table is just a very simple table that keeps track of all these counts so that we can see where they line up. First thing we're going to do is label our option here on the left. So I have some options. And although you don't have to do this, uh, it will help you later if you get used to being able to organize these uh, in order uh, from most to least. Now, the reason we can do that here is there's no inherent order in these colors. They can go in any order. So I'm going to go ahead and order them from most to least. So we have most of green, then gold, and then red and purple are even. So I labeled my options in my first column. And then in the second column, I need to put the frequency. Now, the frequency is just the number of people that answer that. So if we had 25 of our 50 people uh, choose green, we're just going to throw a 25 in the frequency column. Same thing for the gold, purple, and red. The last thing over here is relative frequency. Now, relative frequency is dealing with a percentage. It's relative to the total. So in this case, green is not 25, it's 25 out of 50. So if we were to divide 25 by 50, we would get 1 half. And we could either write that as a decimal, or more commonly, we would write that as a percent. So we'll go ahead and put 50% for green. Same idea with gold. 15 out of 50, if you do the math, it's going to be 30%. And then... 10% for red and 10% for purple because 5 divided by 50 is going to be 0.1 or 10%. So again, a frequency table is just having your options and your frequency. And then it, in certain cases, you'll be asked to include the relative frequency. That's where you include that percentage by dividing. And that will typically come out as a decimal or a percent.